Hey y'all, welcome to Doris Garden once again. And if this is your first time, welcome. So in today's video, I want to give you an updated regimen on how I'm able to grow out my edges, okay? My edges suffered, especially, my son is three, right? So right after I had my son, I'm gonna say like a few months after giving birth, that's when I noticed that my edges, I had lost a lot of my edges on both sides. However, through trial and error, I've come up with the perfect regimen to actually grow them back full and healthy. So I'm here to share with you my secret regimen on how I was able to grow back my edges. They're still growing back, but this side grew back a lot faster to the point where I was able to add a new lock. And I'll make sure to insert a picture right here to show you the difference of where I was and where I am now. So if you're interested in what I do to grow back thick, healthy, and strong edges, please keep on watching. All right, so the first thing I want to say is that the product that I'm going to use is considered a sealant. And that product is Jamaican Black Castor Oil. This is the butter. I love this because it just reminds me of grease. You can practically take a little bit and place it anywhere. You can use an oil. It doesn't have to be this as long as it's Jamaican black castor oil or whichever one is your preference. But Jamaican black castor oil or castor oil is considered a sealant. So what you don't want to do is just put this directly on your scalp or on your hair if it's not dampened first because what's going to happen is this will practically clog your pores because it's a sealant so you want to make sure that you're always starting off with a dampened scalp or dampened hair so the first thing that i like to do is you can you can go ahead and pull your hair back not all of it but just just the top so you can see what you're doing okay See, I got that one little baby lock just sticking out. That's okay, let it do its thing. So you wanna take your moisture hydrating mist, whether it's water or you know a leave-in conditioner or something that's liquid. So you gently mist along, along your edges, okay? Making sure that they're damp. And just rub that in a little bit, especially in the area that you plan on applying the Jamaican black castor oil. Mine's is just literally along my hairline. So I'm going to take my Jamaican black castor oil and I'm just gonna take about this much and spread it along. Because Jamaican black castor oil is very thick, you don't need a lot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just tap it like so and just place it along my hairline. It's almost like an edge control. Right, so place it along the, your hairline, okay? I'm gonna put the rest right here. All right, so now to the fun part. Next is the fun part. You wanna take a soft bristle brush. Yes, it has to be soft, very soft <laughs> because when you use a hard brush like them edge brushes, those can be a little bit too hard on our edges. So you want something that's soft, okay, that's gentle. So all you wanna do is just brush the product in, like so. This is my favorite part, y'all. It feels so relaxing. And what this does is it's kinda like you're massaging your edges so you're stimulating hair growth. Because the bristles are very soft, it's not going to be too hard and cause any scraping along the scalp or it's not gonna pull out your edges. Cause I don't know about y'all, but sometimes when I have used an edge brush that was a little bit too sturdy, I could see one or two strands of, of my baby hair. So you wanna make sure you use something soft, but yes. This is my favorite part and look at that. Boom. Just want to make sure you get along all of it. 
and just massage it and you could just feel how soft it is and just look at that what I do suggest is that if you do use any type of edge control on your edges make sure that you moisturize them first make sure that they're moisturized either the night before or maybe a few minutes before you decide to apply it make sure that you dampen it and put some type of oil and then put the edge control on top but i just want to show you how good that looks There you have it. Your edges are protected. And one other tip is that whenever I use a head wrap, a scarf, I put on a bonnet, I make sure to dampen and moisturize my edges. I do wear a bonnet almost every night, but whenever I use my bonnet, I make sure to moisturize my edges. Now, if you are afraid of getting buildup, which I've never experienced, what I like to do is I'll do this maybe every other day or every couple days. But between every time I use this Jamaican black castor oil, I will just slightly or lightly dampen my edges once again. And it'll reactivate the product that's already on your edges and just get your soft bristle brush and lightly brush. You don't have to do it for too long, but I feel as though this has contributed to the growth and the thickness and the healthiness of my edges. So that's what I've been doing, you guys, and I love it. It just feels so amazing. It's like I'm taking the time to cater to my edges to give it some TLC. Sometimes we neglect our edges and our edges needs a little bit more TLC, a little bit more attention, you know? So don't forget about your edges, y'all, and try not to pull and tug on your edges too much either. And one other thing, make sure that if you are caking or using edge control, that you wash it out, especially with locks. You don't want to allow products to stack on top of each other because then it will cause buildup and it can also go into the lock itself. So if you are using edge control, please, please, when you go to wash your face, wash out the edge control. That's the best advice I could give you. When you wash your face, wash out them edges, okay? wash out all of that stuff that y'all be using on your edges, whether it's eco styler gel, whether it's edge control, wash it out, okay? Wash it out. Let's take care of our edges, y'all. Let's take care of it. We can apply all these products and this, that, and the third, and that's cool and all, but if we're not doing the basics, there's no way that our edges are gonna grow back healthy and full. So we have to make sure that we take care of it like we do our skin, right? Like we do our face. Our face is very delicate. Our edges are very delicate. So when you wash your face, and if you are someone who uses a lot of edge control or gels on your edges, wash it out when you wash your face. Make sure that you are moisturizing with water and then sealing it with an oil like Jamaican black castor oil, very little and just massaging it in with a soft bristle brush. Y'all, this is a game changer. I've noticed a significant difference in the health and in the integrity of my edges, in the health of my edges. So that's all that I have for you for today. I hope that you found this video very useful and I'll catch y'all in my next video. Bye.